Dude, I'm so glad I remembered to get your cold brew. Oh, thank you for getting that for yeah, me. Yeah, of course. I Because I was like, whew, I really, the second I left, I was like, all right, man. I, I, I wrote a post-it note. Get cold brew? Yeah, M cold brew. Well, thank you. It's it's honestly giving me life. Dude, I needed a cup. I, yo, dude, I don't want to um, besmirch anyone's good name, but I don't. I don't really care, dude. La Colombe <laughs> is disgusting at this point. I, I can't speak for the th- their really. Beans. Their beans are bad, straight up. Bad beans on La Colombe, dude. They're bad. They're bad, this. man. Um, yeah, I like um, like what are you talking about? Like the Corsica? We we'll get real into it. As for our bean heads out there, ah, dude, I'm a uh, I'm a Niza guy, or I pre I previously was. Mm-hmm. That used to be like my that was my bean. That's that was I thought it tasted just like a nice, yeah, diner cup of coffee, but like a nice, not like that gray shit, not like that good. Like you go to a diner, you're like, oh, man, yeah, coffee's bussing. I never liked Niza, dude. It's well, I I'll never tell you liked what, it. It's literally disgusting now. It tastes bad. So sometimes I'm like against some of the stuff you say like it's i don't feel that way but i feel very strongly about fucking dude, Lisa. i don't it, dude it it didn't used to be bad maybe they they sold their company yeah but it's been bad longer than that mm. maybe, you know it's funny there's yeah. someone i know that worked there mm-hmm. then i went there and uh he actually, I, I won't name him yeah uh, in case he still works there and <laughs> But he was hired there to like save their beans. Maybe he was insider trading and <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Uh, what do we like? Uh, counterculture came in and was like slid under the radar and said, you know, destroy it. Give a, give us your give us your business because I I will like a counterculture bean. This isn't counterculture, uh, by the way. This is Duncan. This Hooking is- me up. This is, this is the good stuff. We're not getting paid for nothing, so we're, we're going to blur these out. Duncan doesn't need to to run ads on podcasts, dude. I They're think not there they yet. do. I think they honestly. Well, they don't need to, <laughs> but I think they. I think I've heard Duncan ads. That would podcasts. be sick to get a Duncan ad. Yeah, just get like a little Duncan card, like a Taco Bell card, and then just like kind of like that, and you can just, just swipe it all you want. I got, dude, I, Taco Bell should give bands cash instead. Just a thousand dollars cash and say, feed the beat. Yeah, I don't yeah, like the cool. um as much as I, w- I would appreciate the cards, mm-hmm. I I don't like the cards. Also, <laughs> yo, they give you literally a box full of gift <laughs> cards that each only have $5 on them. Yeah. Is that still the case? Uh, dude, I it better not be. I I guess that I guess it's cuz it's like, oh, there's bands, they're on tour, yeah. they could lose the card and then it's like we gave them this card for the likelihood of that kind of makes sense, but it's like, dude, maybe like $20. At this point in inflation, it's got to be at least 20 You know how I'm fucked up it was <laughs> every night to pull up to a Taco yeah. Bell and we, first of all, <laughs> at 2 a.m., and then you pay and you're just like, how much is it? You're like, all right. It's you already got the star cast like, in there. All right. <laughs> five five of these should do it. <laughs> just let us know how much the last one has on left on it. They used to give you the change. That was the hack. I remember the bands back in the day would just give them and then give a, do a dollar taco and get four dollars back. See that? That was smart. That, smart thinking. No, that's not the case now. anymore. I got a question for you. Is there, is there a little red light on that Sony camera on? Yeah, should it not Perfect. be? Perfect. No, that's what it should be. Okay. I had like a panic attack. So since the whole room got turned upside down and uh, we changed the whole set, uh, if you're not if you're listening, come over to the YouTube channel, quit your band while you still can. Uh, we changed the whole set around, but I um, I lost a freaking cable. I have no idea where the cable went. So like the cable that's plugged into there, I think it's a shitty cable because now I can see it's not feeding. It's recording fine, but it's not feeding the the prompter. Right? Maybe it's not plugged in perfectly because I see it every once in a while flicker. Oh, I was going to ask yeah. if I was imagining that. Or no, not. you're not imagining that. It's something with, I don't know what it is, honestly. But So what you're saying is this might look like shit. No, see, it just did it. Yeah. But no one will see it on camera. It will look perfect. I guarantee you it will look perfect. Or it will be a wide shot. We have a wide shot now. So we we got we got our bases covered on this one. Yeah. Um no, this will be this will be a good episode. But uh dude, I have I searched. So to give everyone a little background, we're not in a big room here, but I searched this room for like a half hour for a cable and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Is it possible it's not in this room anymore? It's very possible it's not in the room, but I don't know why it would leave this room because I, I took down a table. And then 
I don't know where. I, you know when you start like taking shit apart and you just like put something one place and you're like, I'll oh, come back all to the that. Time. So my my little brain, I think, did that, and I just totally zonked on the cable. So I had to go to Best Buy, and now this 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 shitty little cable can't even. I don't know what I don't know what it does. It's not even. It flickers now, but we'll be good. We'll be good. It's still recording on the thing. So will um will I be judged if I sit like um femininely? If, if I sit could, like this, or are you gonna be like? Oh yeah, should we sit? Should we? Man, we can't really man spread in these chairs. I too bad. Nah, these are definitely <laughs> feminist chairs. They're feminist design chairs. You can only man spread so much, but that's okay. Yeah, it could be worse. That's okay. I think for for my 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 psyche on this this new uh, setup and the way it's flickering, I'm gonna let's switch to the then just look at ourselves in the big view. Oh not, yeah, not the close up. I think that would be mean? awesome. I love I love just the wide. Yeah. We're going wide for his psyche. He's psychic. Oh, dude, we look awesome. Um, All right. Oh yeah. So now, now we're just wide. Now we're wide again. Dude, we look kind of um. We look, the angle might be weird. We might gotta work on the angle. Yeah, we can but, go more head on. What if we? Uh, hmm. I wonder. We got. We could go lower, and but I wanted to go higher, so we'd look. We look yeah, handsome. Like you know what I mean? That's. Look, we're gonna look fucking. <laughs> it already is like I'm like, dude. My, I know, I do have big legs, but like my legs yeah. are like. Yeah, I look like a freaking, gra- <laughs> uh, like a grasshopper X Man. Well, the grasshopper. <laughs> well, I wanted to get the shot in, you know. I wanted to make this everyone to see the chairs, you know. I mean, it looks good. I thought it looks yeah, but we did. Yeah, it does I mean, make us look like we got big the legs. Yeah, let's see how close Maybe we, we should sit. get it like from floor level, so it's like people mostly like the focal point is like our shoes, and then we'll oh, it's wear, like the audience. We'll wear like cool shoes. That would be cool. Time. It's kind of like we're performing. It's like we're doing a live show, and they don't. I mean, and, that's got to be why uh, metalcore bands don't like to have monitor. I don't understand why people with in ears take the monitors off stage. Um, yeah, it, what it, people need to see your fucking feet or uh, your maybe maybe they got a lot of feet fans in the crowd. Maybe they're like, Ooh. unless you're Paramore, I don't get it. <laughs> Are they into feet, I, dude? I, or, or, I I feel like she's she's probably the subject of some some foot fetish. Uh, Oh, people like her feet. She doesn't like the feet. I would think so. Yeah. yeah. I would think that she, among the foot loving mm-hmm. community, she would probably be royalty of some kind. And, well, I have no reason to believe that other than she is just like the internet adores her. And I feel like weirdo. Dude, she le- has to get the wildest, just like stalkers of it. Are the lesbos still against her? No, because none of the real lesbians, it was only like mm-hmm. um, TikTok lesbians. Mm. Like, 18, not d- I won't say fake lesbians, <laughs> but <laughs> I was just gonna say I I, I don't want to besmirch anyone or or, or uh, make any false claims, but I will. I feel comfortable in saying that these were likely not even actual lesbians that were uh, getting mad at Haley Williams. Yeah, they 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 found um they found a song uh, clipped up to it. They found, they found covet clipped up to a lesbian uh, propaganda, and then they, they got they got hooked right away. You know, they lost, the Pine Grove Shuffle came on. Oh, dude! You know what's crazy? I've never heard that song. The Pine Grove, sh- the Pine Grove song. I don't know what song it is. Well, I, I they got, they got canceled, TikTok. so I don't. I don't. Uh, I. It's not in my oh, feet. You know? um, it's, it's yeah, we should start pretending we have a, like we have a producer. <laughs> Yo, just beep that out. Yeah, beep out what beep, he said. Beep out. Hey, uh, what what should be their name? Like, uh, um, Corey. 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 Can you beep that out? Corey's like a, that's definitely I feel like if we had a podcast <laughs> producer it'd be a Corey. Well now we got room. We could put a we could put one right there. I got a table right there. Or we could have, Corey can just be sitting right there and beep beep it right out. We've got like a couple like eighth and ninth graders hitting us up and being like, I'll do it. I'll I'll do it. I listen to your podcast. I heard that you guys need a producer. I'll do it. I'll do it for free. It's a strange nerve kids trying to get back oh, into dude. it. <laughs> God bless them. Should, mm. should we answer some cues? Yeah, I I feel like it's time. I feel like so let me send you let me send you a few uh cues in the the Instagram message. I took a screenshot. So I'll well, we can just look at them too, can we? Can we look at well, all? We can look at all of them. I didn't want to get lost and read the same cues over again. Do you know how to get to the cues? I th- yes. Okay. It looks like it looks like this, by the way. If yeah. you, you got there. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Should we start? You know what? Hold up. Real quick. We're gonna start. We're gonna start off with a P 
Patreon one first. Oh yeah, patrons first. Patrons first. Um, here's here's a, a Q and A for the pod. Uh, I don't know if it's good. I never read this one, so apologies if, if it's not really funny. With all the talk about Red Dead Redemption Two on the pod, have you guys revisited the first Redemption? Have you guys even played the prequel Red Dead Revolver? Love the pod. Thank you. Thank you, Phantom Not. Patreon member. Um, I've never played Red Dead Revolver, but it's my understanding that there's like zombies and shit or something. Mm. So it's like a totally different thing. So I yeah. think it's kind of unrelated, but we've talked on the pod about how I've gone back and played uh, Red Dead 1. Mm. And it after you play Red Dead 2... Which I've been on record saying saying is the best video game of all yeah, time. It's, it's, yeah. Um, after you play Red Dead Two, going back to Red Dead One, not Red Dead uh, Redemption mm -hmm. or Red Dead Revolver, because I've never played that. But Red Dead Redemption One is borderline unplayable. I've never played Red Dead One. I've seen people play it. That was like a game coming up when I think I was in uh, high school. Maybe uh, uh, looked cool. I didn't I never played it, but um, and I never I didn't even know Red Dead Re Revolver was a thing. Is that recent? It's like no, I think it's like old. Like, um, sorry for my lack of knowledge here, but does it go Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Revolver, Red, Red Dead, Dead Revolver is the OG. Oh, and that's why I think there's like zombies and stuff. Oh, I think good. it's just like a totally, and then they redesign. Then I think it was kind of pre. I could be wrong about mm -hmm. this. Pre GTA like <laughs> explosion success. Uh huh. And then they were probably like, all right, well, why don't we just make GTA but with, like, cowboys and shit? Could be cool. And we'll throw zombies in there. No. Well, the, the, <laughs> I'm sure they're like, we'll just get rid of the zombies. Yeah. We'll just make it fucking normal. And then it was um, Red Dead 1 was a hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, I remember my friend playing. I was like, this game looks amazing. Like, when Red Dead, the Red Dead 2 trailer came out, uh -huh. I had not yet played Red Dead 1. Mm. And I remember people freaking out about it. It to me, um, I think you got to do it like how you played Spider Man. You gotta, you can't play the good one first. You got to, you got to do your your homework and do your time and play the prequel stuff before Dude, you dive in because it's too to. good. It's hard to. It's in, it's almost impossible to go back. You know, I've gone back on a couple things. Like um, we always fucking go back to video games. I, well, it's the, so the first crazy. question, the first mailbag question. <laughs> We're gonna start having to tell people yeah. like like the guitar stuff. Like, yo, just like keep the guitar talk minimal, man. Like, only a niche audience of ours cares about that. It's gonna be like, yo, keep the video games to a minimum. Um, should we leave it at that? Should we move on to the, yeah, the Instagram yeah, question? Yeah. Well, hey, thank you for um, asking that question. There, our Patreon member, uh, join the Patreon if uh, to support the show. That's the thing. We got to plug the Patreon to support the show. There also is free. Uh, there's episodes episodes on there too. But support the show, join the Patreon. Yeah. Um But yeah, uh, I told them earlier that we bought these new shares. Yeah, you guys, Patreon. Without Patrons. you guys, you guys uh, keep the show going alive. Uh, yeah, hit us uh, with a want to hit us with an Instagram question. Yeah, let me see what we got here. The story one. Um. Um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm trying to. I, I, it's all. Uh, it's all Red Dead, by the way. <laughs> um. Here we go. This one's a music question, but it's not gear related. Okay. Does it help to create music with someone you've known for a long time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Do you want to say who because, asked it? Um. No. Have to. We'll no. We'll just it, just in case people want to remain uh, anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah, okay. Whoa! This person Anon left the fucking picture. How they I know. Do I that? don't know how they did that. That. That's cool. I don't know really what to answer that, but uh, it's a wizard in a shopping cart. Wow. How do they do that? <laughs> that guy should be the producer. He knows his way around the fucking internet. He really does. Um, yeah. As far as that, to elaborate on the answer to that question a little more, does it help uh, to mix music with someone you've known for a long time? Yes, it does. Because if you've never, if you've ever playing music with a new person, at least for me, is like a nightmare every single time. Like it's it's so rare to just yeah. like play music with somebody and it not feel like very uh, clunky. I think it's also hard to find like minded people that want a want to play the same music or play that music with you. 
the two that get like your vibe of what you're going for. And people write in such different ways that some mm -hmm. people it's just like not easy to create music with because it's like they do it in such a different way, which I think is awesome that there's so many different ways to approach mm -hmm. uh, songwriting. But, um, but yeah, this isn't funny. But yeah, yeah, yeah yes, it, yes, it is helpful. <laughs> um, all right, let me let me look in here uh, real quick. Uh, oh, all right. So does it help to create? <laughs> Uh, I saw one. Oh, uh, let's see. Do do you guys want to play a show with my band at the Meat Locker in Jersey on February twenty? Yes, yeah, we'll we'll be there. Uh, Super Heaven Wedding, we'll both be there. Yeah. The Meat Locker. I didn't know that was a venue. Still, that's why I wanted to bring it up. Um, no, we can't play. Um, that's that's three <laughs> days after my birthday. So true. I'm, I'm gonna be um. Uh, chilling, <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm just surprised that's. Still I, yo, a I've venue. never been there. I don't think I've never been there. Um, I heard it's a shithole in a bad area. I, I think you hit the the nail on the head there. Um, we talked about that on the Patreon. How these like not legendary venues, but that's more of like a known venue. Yeah. Throughout the years, and it's like you get there, and you're like, this place is a shithole. Why? Why do people like this place? But um. I mean, I guess you could probably tell from pictures or mm -hmm. videos, but I'd imagine showing up to the First Unitarian Church is probably a similar experience. People love it there, yeah. and yo, I hate it. Like, oh, it's I I appreciate it for its history and mm -hmm. its lore and yep. its uh, everything it is. But yo, I hate it. I don't mm -hmm. love playing there. Yep. Um, I will play there. Yeah. But it's never my favorite. Be, just being there at a show is like no matter the temperature outside, it is brutal down there, man. There's no good time to ever play there. Um, legendary venue, but yeah, no matter the, what I do, I got the glare with the, on my glasses. With my eyes. Yeah. Our glasses just a no no. How do other people do it? Like podcast, they got producers, I guess. I don't know. I feel like we have good diffusion. I never even thought about that. Not being a glasses guy, I have no idea. Huh? Huh? Well, you know, we have lights. I might have here. to just go back to sunglasses. So. <laughs> Oh, huh, where's that? I, we'll we'll get that out in post. Yeah, we'll I get mean, that I always post. take my glasses off. Uh, whatever. Uh, um, yeah, that that, that was uh, that was my question. What what do you got for them? I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at. Okay. Um, I guess this one's kind of uh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> um. Damn, I keep wanting to answer all the sincere ones, but I, I want to oh, keep this. Here I we go. I got, light. I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this person asks, "Are Telecasters still gay?" A hundred percent. No, no, hundred percent. No, they're not gay. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about getting another one. Yo, you know, I mean, yo, I've thought about getting. Um, I really like. <laughs> I think so. I think the instrument that is intended to be. A baritone is a Telecaster, and I oh. love baritones. So I've thought about multi many times about getting a baritone, but I want a baritone Telecaster. But what am I going to do? Delete the tweet? <laughs> I can't delete the tweet. No, I mean obviously my tweet was a joke. I, I am a lifelong, not lifelong, mm -hmm. but for most of my life, I've I have not favored Telecasters. Yeah, but um, yeah, the fact that it was like my most hated upon tweet. <laughs> Was like, just made me really want to lean into the telecast telecaster hatred. I so, love the telly. In short, yes, they're still gay. <laughs> but the more complex answer is that yes, they're still gay. But I am myself and somewhat gay, and I want a baritone telecaster. But dude, normal scale scale telecaster. Now that's, that's I the, not even females will play that instrument. That's what you want. That's the good. That's the good. Good. Um, I love a Telecaster, but hey, call me gay. I don't know. What, what what can I do? Hey, call him gay. Call him gay. And I feel like a, a, a baritone Telecaster, that's like a gay guy jacked. You know, a jacked gay guy. Oh, those are my favorite gay yeah. guys. <laughs> they can pick Speaking of gay guys, have you um have you seen or heard of Saltburn? I've heard of Saltburn. It is on my to watch list. I just forget. It might I might be I might be watching it tonight. It is the weekend. Um, I don't think you're gonna love it, but I do encourage it's, you to watch it. Scary, a little scary. No. Oh, 
I thought it was like a little like eerie. Um, I guess so. Not, it, not like I guess, terrifying. I guess kind of eerie, but I also, dude, I didn't um, finish it. <laughs> 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 not for any reason other than, um, well, I guess I didn't like it enough to go back, but I watched probably 75% of it. Mm-hmm. And then I uh, had to stop for some reason. Mm. Um, like I had to leave or something like that. And I just, when it came time to go back to it, I thought, I'm going to find something else to watch, which is weird because, dude, I got nothing to watch anymore. I, I'm you, convinced you I've watched everything that's good. You There's nothing out. nothing else is good. No, I'm just re-watching stuff. Hmm. And I can't even find stuff I want to re-watch. Hmm. Um, damn, that sucks. I, I, I get that way sometimes, and I don't watch nearly as much like television. I don't know if you have television on more than me, I feel like. Oh, dude, know, I'm, I'm, to be fair. I'm a watcher more than the average person. But I've been watching Suits. That's crazy. It's crazy, but I just can't stop watching. I got to finish it at this point. But it's hard. How many hard. seasons are there? Like Dude, there's 11? eight seasons of that show, and there's it just keeps playing. It's just like one long movie. You're just kind of watching a, a one long movie that's kind of not. Aren't that they good. just lawyers? Like, isn't that they're just lawyers? Yeah, but do they have like uh, um, Meghan Markle's kind of a, a babe? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but that's where she's from, huh? That's what I mean. She's the princess, but yeah, she's also from that. That's her claim to fame. That's the thing. I feel like people. She was like, people said she was an actor and shit. Um, when she married the, the prince. Yeah, Prince Harry. Um, he is the bald one. No, he's not the bald one. He's a redhead one. Really? She, yeah, he's a redhead one. The bald one is married to, uh, Middleton. Something Middleton. Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. That's I right. wanted to say Chris Middleton. That's a basketball player. That's right. That Do you think those both of those um, women were? selected to be the princesses do you think there was like a kind of like a not i wouldn't say competition but there was like um each of them had a file there were certain things to take into consideration certain attributes that were taken into consideration well, and they were basically like listen prince harry listen prince what's it, peter <laughs> uh christopher uh charles uh william william mm-hmm. prince hey listen prince peter Prince Charles, <laughs> Peter Griffin. Ah, that guy must have sucked. <laughs> you're marrying this one, and you're marrying this one, and they're just like, "All right." <laughs> um, I I know for a fact that's not the case because Prince Harry, they hated. That. I think they hated that he was marrying um a black woman. You don't think that was manufactured? I don't think that was manufactured. I think that's why they left. They, I, I think they hate. They didn't like her. But I will say they did walk her down the aisle, so maybe they... I don't think it was manufactured. Because isn't that kind of like the Princess Diana thing? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but did I will say, like, it's kind of like... She's kind of black in the way that, like, Obama's black. I think she's leaving... I don't want to lessen her blackness, but to me... <laughs> I agree. I think it could be even worse. Worse? Better? But yeah. I mean, it would be awesome if one of them married, like, Trina... Or something. That's like where my brain Megan went. Megan the Stallion or something. Ooh, like Megan the Stallion would be cool. They, she, She'd fuck shit up so, there. They would be so lucky. Uh, yeah, I think the one may have been mad. If, I think the, the older brother, that Middleton. That Middleton. I think she may have been. Because she's like a perfect princess. She's she's a white chick. I'll say you, that's that's, your, your race might be showing. I, I'm just saying. I, you're racist. I, your privilege is showing. That's not how I feel. That's the thing. I like, I love Meghan Markle. I think she st- stir at the pot, but they 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 dipped out of the, the castle, the uh, English. Yeah, where do they live? Canada. I, they moved to Canada for a minute. Um, they may have moved back. She's from like, Toronto or from the states. She doesn't even. She's not even British. I don't think. Oh so. no, no, Markle. Okay, I Markle. That. Oh but yeah, the Middleton's other one. British, right? I think she's, that's the most British. Yeah, she can. Heard. She cannot be British. Can't not, not be British. Hello, love and Middleton. Um, um, yeah. yeah. That's that was that was a good question. So yeah, are are telecasters still gay? Uh, no, I can, but also I can. yes. <laughs> but yo, before we before we get back to the questions, yeah. have you watched any of the second season of Natalia Grace? Because we might have to do an entire Patreon episode on it. Natalia Grace, I don't even know what that the is. The little gal. Natalia. There was Grace. abused with the crazy uh, oh, Michael I, Scott I, I dad. I never saw. Oh, wait, did I watch that? Yeah, I think you did. Man, no, no, I definitely didn't watch the second season, dude. If, I, if the first season, it's um, yeah, we got to do a Patreon episode on that. All right, we should put it on just live watch it after the dude, <laughs> just talk about. That'd be awesome. 
I mean, it's a whole season, so we won't be able to do that. But, um, dude, there's so much to talk about. That would be good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to watch it. I'll try to catch up. I've been, uh, I'm down. I got, I got another one here. I got, oh, I got two here actually. Um, this person asks: Should bands with members over the age of thirty still play house shows? Uh, let's see. I my philosophy in life mm-hmm. is truly, um, to each their own. But to also, own. I would just surface level. Mm-hmm. If you're in your thirties and you're playing house shows, I would look at that now if you do it once every decade or something you're like oh that's crazy that band played a house that's like one thing that's not i don't want to do that and i don't want to play anybody's fucking house yeah unless it's like epstein's house <laughs> <laughs> which they demolished really they demolished the island apparently i don't know if that's true or i not, guess nobody I, I, nobody wants it it's like well, moving I, into I like think a haunted it, castle i think they demolish it to hide the facts that's did I dream this? I swear that's a thing. I swear demolished. Little James is not a thing anymore. I feel like it's been demolished. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but allegedly. We'll sprinkle it with the allegedly. But yeah, I'd, I'd play Epstein's house in New York. This place is baller. Yeah, or just like a somewhere that's like... Bat Mitzvah? Bat Mitzvah? Bat, bat Mitzvah? Bat, uh, oh, or play bar someone, Mitzvah? Play someone's... Bar Mitzvah? Yeah, I would play that if it was some... And like a... Yeah, I'm talking LA, like... They're they're throwing you 100k cash to play a bar mitzvah. Oh yeah, I'm I mean there. yo, you can get you can if you're paying me 100k, <laughs> yeah. I'll pay I'll play the dankest, shittiest, low ceiling Philadelphia West Philly basement you got. Yeah, I'm saying we're coming to West Philly, <laughs> dude. I'll fucking play the shit like squatting down. Speaking of which, yo, um, I'll get more into this on Patreon mm-hmm. when we do our uh, our our Natalia Grace yeah <laughs> recap. But uh, I uh, started doing yoga. Oh, namaste. 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 I, I will. Um, um, at home or do you go to a yeah, yoga studio? Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. I, I tried to do that during the pandemic when that started, but didn't keep up with it. So yeah. we'll see if I keep up with it. I feel I like it though. It's like the first exercise size I've known where I'm like, I'm and yo, know, check it out. Kind of good at it. I bet you you can touch your toes. I'm I cannot. a I'm a flexible I cannot, guy. So. I cannot touch my toes. Look, that's it. That's all that's all I got. See, I do I like having this wide cam because I can kind of like People can see me. Oh yeah, you I mean, know? they can see what, they can see our our uh, whole Physi- body language. Our uh... like I see, I know on other podcasts they have a, they have a wide shot, and sometimes they do like they get up on their knees and stuff. They got they can do everything. Dude, is it kind of cold in here? A little little chilly. You want me to throw on the space heater? You think it'll blow a thing? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. There is in. a lot of stuff plugged in. I I'm can tr- live without it. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I can live without it. I can live without it. If it gets too cold, we can we can try to figure something out and plug it in. I should have had it running already. Eh, fuck it. Uh, warm it up. But yeah, it's a little, little nippy in here. Uh, so yeah, so to answer the question, should mem- bands with members over the age of 30 still play house shows? Yes or no? Um, uh, My actual answer, sure, why not? Mm-hmm. Um, but... Service level, I think I would I would be slightly judgmental on if I would I would just be like from a distance I would think I probably don't have a ton in common with that person. Mm-hmm. That's all, no judgment or anything. Just sort of like, hmm, that's not for me. I wonder if we'd have anything to talk about. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'd have to play a. I don't particularly want to play a house show uh, over the age of thirty now. Um, will I? To be d- fair, depends. But I didn't want to play them when I was twenty. Um, I didn't know anything. You know. I couldn't see over the wall when I was like 20 years old, you know, sometimes it's, a, it's the kind of thing. It's like the church, you know, you, you always hear about the crazy house show and then you play the house show and you're like, that's kind of sucks. But, yeah. um, yeah, to the answer is yes, but no, thank you. Yeah. Yes. But we wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you got one pulled up. Uh, yeah. When peeing on a urinal, are you only <laughs> dick out or dick and balls out? I think I've actually said this on here before. I'm anytime I pee, unless I have sometimes wearing when I'm wearing a suit, uh-huh. I'll oh. actually just undo the zipper just so I don't have to fuck up tucking in my shirt. Dude, I hate having my tur- my shirt tucked in only because I feel like you got to keep like making sure it's tucked in. It just like drives me nuts. Because the second it falls out, you look 
dumpy. That's the thing. I'm always checking <laughs> yeah, it. I don't want to look dumpy. So unless I'm wearing a suit, I'm balls out every single time. Balls out. That's the way it's supposed to be, I think. I'm pants down to my ankles. Oh, yeah, I'm dude. butt I, out. Yeah. Butt out, everyone. Uh, yeah, I think I'm dicking balls out for sure. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, it kind of it then kind of fucks me, especially if you're wearing like um. This is for the ladies out there that don't have dicks and balls. Oh yeah. Um, if you wear like a band that has like a waistband, like a stretchy, you know, like you're wearing gym shorts, and you pull it down, you pull your dick and balls out. It it, it kind of creates some sort of like pressure there. Oh yeah, it's like a little um. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying it's bad because then when you think you're done, you pull you you pull it back up and. You gotta pull. The, you out. gotta pull the the gym shorts down. You, got, a you gotta further. you gotta pull them down further. You gotta stretch it out. Um, dang, it's a dangerous game, but dick and balls out. Um, 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 you got any lined up? Um, this is I don't know. This who knows what this will arise, but um, hmm. why don't you guys sack up and get on roids? Um, yo, honestly. I wouldn't say that I've considered it. Mm -hmm. I've definitely thought like, um, I'm sure there's some research you can do. Hi, Laurie. Hello. <laughs> I'm sure there's some re research you could do, and there's probably like safer ways to do stuff like that. Hi, Bubba. <gasps> Hi, my little Bubba. No, he's on cam. You're on cam, bro. Leo. Hi. 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 Cam guy. Cam guy. Hi, cam guy. Bye, cam guy. All right, yeah. Oh, you, what's up, dude? Oh, bro, there he is. Oh, so usually he hides under the table. He hides behind me. You're not. You don't usually see him on cam. But dude, the new are setup. you my boy now? He's oh. one. Of, they're kind of nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice chairs. Laurie approved chairs. Hell yeah! Let's get a nice little. Uh, no, oh. Laurie approved. We um we gotta send pictures of these to Zach and see if he uh, what he thinks about. Yeah, I need to know his his his, his thoughts on these. He's a Yo, chairman. I, I was thinking if we do a live show again, we bring these. Oh, dude, our signature chairs. Our signature chairs. Now we have them. We got it. They sit on our lap. Guests sit on our lap now. If we have a guest. Yeah. Yeah. So we can have. Yeah. We can have. We can have. Uh, have uh, girl <laughs> guests only from now on. <laughs> we can have up to four guests. We got two. Oh, shit. here comes a girl. Oh. Here's another. This is puppy hour. Um, girl and um, M to F trans yes. women, but no um, F to M. No straight up men. I that's yeah. Anything where somebody's gonna call me gay, I'm not into that. We can't. I mean, I'm into it because um, I'm open. <laughs> I'm open minded and I'm woke. But um, I do have the woke mind virus. But uh, I'm also 100 percent heterosexual. Especially after talking about how you might you could get a Telecaster in the future, you're not gonna you don't want to get caught dead with a guy on you. Until too. I get the Telecaster, I'm trying yeah. to play it so you can only <laughs> let um, women and M to F uh, trans women sit on my lap. Dude, respect to that, dude. We're, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting on roids. Uh, that scares me, man. No, see, that's that's Scary. the thing. I always arrive at just like, I don't know, man. I'm un unhealthy enough. Mm -hmm. I think it would just like... I've said this many times on, on mm -hmm. the podcast. I think I... My prediction is that, well, I am almost certain I will die from a heart attack one day. Yeah. So you don't want to get... You don't want to um, accelerate the process and get on roids. You, no need for that. I don't think so. I mm -hmm. think... Yo, well, I mean... I also think that I am totally capable of, like, I'd rather just exercise. I'd rather just, like, if I'm going to try to be in shape. One, I don't like, I don't want to be, like, muscular. No. That's gay. <laughs> yeah. My, it, Muscles are gay, man. Dude, amen to that, bro. Did you ever you see the sexy jacked? sax man from uh, the movie um, The Lost Boys? No, he's like all oiled up and yeah, shit. No, and he's playing a sax. That's, that's gay. That's like that's the that's like gay, that just I look at that and I'm just like gay people probably love this. Also, like, are you really enjoying food? Unless you're like um, the kind of guy that just can't help it but have a six pack. Are you really enjoying the food? You know, you, you want to have that extra cookie. You know, I enjoy the extra cookie. Yeah, that reminds me. Fuck Aaron Hurd <laughs> for being <laughs> for being just perpetually in shape and just eating pretty much the same. Maybe worse than me. Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't make yeah, that claim yeah. because I eat a lot of candy and I don't know if he's in. The, but I know he eats like cheesesteaks and shit. Whatever. We had on the pot. He was just like, "You got any snacks?" He was on a snack. I wish I could snack constantly. It, uh, snacking's a great vibe. 
I back it. But man, if I asked everyone for a snack, I'd be I'd be five hundred pounds. I think the thing that saves me and allows me to snack as much as I do Mm -hmm. is I really don't eat anything all day long. And I've had some people tell me that's really bad, and some people would be like, "No, that's actually it's a myth. It it depends on everybody. So so it could be good. It makes you feel. Does it make you feel good? Then it is. Uh, Well, I never feel good. (laughs) Then maybe it's not good. Um, I love snacking though. Brings oh me joy. God. Yo, snacking's all I love to do. How do you f- do? You like goldfish? No, cheddar goldfish, plain goldfish. You don't like any kind of goldfish. No, um, I'm not talking flavor ba- blast. I'm talking like OG. No, I don't like them. That might be my favorite snack in the world, which is not nuts, but something about it, man. I just I don't think you're I alone. I think people. There are some people that are like I fucking can't get enough goldfish. I'm not a flavored flavor blasted person, but I am. I am a gold like a, just a gold fillet fish cheddar person. Oh, it's so yummy. Love it. I don't like um if I'm gonna do like a cheesy snack, mm-hmm. like a chip in the chip family, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go like um Cheeto, classic crunchy Cheeto. Cheeto Cheetos are good, Cheetos That's are good. Shit. I don't like flaming hot Cheetos. I don't wanna that I'm working too hard for a snack if I'm doing flaming hot Cheetos. Um I just think they kind of taste a little chemically. Mm, yeah. Like I don't think I kind of <laughs> like them. My body's a temple and I'm not putting that in there. Yeah, I think they're good, but they I just think that regular Cheetos are better. And that brings me to my point. I'm not putting roids in my body. If I'm, I'm going to put hot flaming hot che- che- Cheetos in my body, I'm not putting roids in my body. We're pussies. That's the answer to the question. <laughs> no, we haven't considered it because we're pussies. <laughs> Perfectly put. All right. What do, you, what do you got after this? I don't know. I'm looking at one that says <laughs> this is a two part <laughs> oh, question. Oh, boy. All right. This, this one's yeah. kind of like, this one's kind of, uh, um, People might be interested in knowing the answer to this. Is the payout for festivals really that good? Uh, I see a lot of bands on hiatus coming out. Mm. Um, So yes and no. I mean, you can get paid to play a festival, and we have been famously underpaid to play many festivals. And because we thought it was going to be, or suspected that it would be, (laughs) you know, like just a good time. So it's like, we don't need like a huge payout. But... Yeah, I mean, they if, got money. If that's the thing, certain ones they, they have money. money to that is budgeted for those like big names that they can offer something crazy to like, like um like the Misfits playing like yeah. the original lineup. Yeah. Like they were paid crazy money to do that shit like that, but like not for everyone. No, because I think you also need those headline bands to really um exactly draw the people. So you need to put your money where your mouth is. If you're going to put on yeah, a festival. Yeah, the rest is just, like, fodder. Like, you're yeah. just hoping, like, oh, maybe, you know, Super Heaven will bring out, like, I don't know, 150 yeah. heads that wouldn't care about coming to see the Misfits. And then you get, like, the the bands that you underpay, but they're they're playing with the Misfits, you know? Oh, I always yeah. wanted to see. So you get, you get kind of tricked into playing a festival. Um, but they can pay. They can pay money. And uh, you know what? I don't... It, it would suck... To be a band that it's one show you're playing the one festival because really that's not your best show. I, I kind of always hate kind of playing just one festival because I feel like ah it didn't sound good. Something was off of the mix. We didn't have proper time to actually sound check, and we're not long sound check guys. But I do need a little sound check to you know feel good about playing and be like that was a good. They experienced a good show. I think that if I was in an act that was getting paid, cr- getting. Cr- offered crazy money to headline mm-hmm. a festival. If it was that much money and everyone involved was considering it, I would probably suggest, hey, I bet we could just do our own headline show or a small run of headline shows and make a lot more money mm-hmm. and sell a lot more merch and like we can play this thing, but let's let's like maybe play it next year. True. You know what I mean? Because then you'll still get a, a big fat payout It'll probably be a little less than they offer for the initial like return show, but dude, I feel like if the Misfits just played like a bunch of headline shows before that, yeah, it wouldn't. They would have been. They would have been huge. Yeah, that's true. I like when Green Day recently played uh, like a twenty year or thirty year anniversary of um, Dookie, all the way through in like a smaller like small venue. It was probably a thousand cap room, but like that's. Do you it. pronounce it Dookie? Dookie? Yeah, uh, uh, Dookie, Ducky. Dookie. Is it not Dookie? That, it's that's, dookie. Not, that's not what I said. You said Dookie, dookie. and I was like, wait a Teach second. Teach me how to Dookie. Um, I do not pronounce it that way. I, it is Dookie, but uh, brain's not... 
Hey, you know, I don't got a fast processor up there. I'm trying to also... <laughs> I'm reading to... Well, no, no, I'm calling Cam. I don't pronounce it that way. Oops. Dude. Hmm. This one's not funny at all, but... Um, or I like, don't think the answer will be funny, uh-huh. but... Um, this one gets asked enough by youngsters. Um, what advice would you give to up-and-coming artists that you wish someone told you? First of all, you should know that neither one of us are that successful from music, so we're no. not like the guys to ask. Second of all, um, nothing, because you have to find shit out on your own, unfortunately. Ooh, dude, that is a good answer to that question. Because, yo, eventually it's going to come to where you are in a tough spot, and you're not going to be equipped to... Dude, I wish I could explain this to certain bands yeah. that are like kind of pop off early on Uh because dude they're gonna get put in a tough spot and there's gonna be so many eyes on them Mm -hmm. and they're gonna wish that that tough spot had come when there weren't so many eyes on them yeah that's true nothing specific but like that that will come for everybody that's a that's a you gotta figure it out on your own that's how you become a a band that people like i think wow that's that's like a dad way to think about it but that is a perfectly well put i mean dude think i think of any hardship that we've had of being in a band and i thought even if somebody tried to explain to me a way to avoid that i would have arrived there eventually and also me telling somebody something is not going to matter they're they're it's the same thing like a life lesson like um i don't know something so dumb like uh i'm trying blanking for an example but like the birds and the no um. just like some shit like um (laughs) literally the golden rule treat others how you would like to be Mm -hmm. treated when you're younger you just hear that and you're like fuck off dude i'm not gonna like (laughs) i'm gonna be a dickhead once in a while which is true but the older you get the more it's like i will go out of my way to try to help someone out if i thought like if if i consider like damn i sure would like if someone helped me off if I was in that situation. That's very, that's very well put. I mean, yeah. I'm not like volunteering at soup kitchens or anything. Don't get me <laughs> wrong. I don't want to take it like I'm like Mr. Uh, Do-Gooder, but mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. No, I just don't think it would make sense if I, it wouldn't translate if I tried to even relay. And, and also, I don't know what I would fucking tell anyone anyway. There's nothing I could tell you that would make your life uh, any different. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure gonna, it out. You're gonna learn hard lessons along the way, no matter what. Yeah. Um, it, when people say like, um, uh, work hard, you gotta figure out what working hard I- is in music. Like, you know, when uh, people are like, oh, you gotta be working eighty hours a, a week for to be a successful music. I still don't know what that is. I mean, but like, you just gotta, you just gotta figure it out. The more, the more you do it, the more you figure it out. Yeah, I mean. So yeah, honestly, perfectly put. Write good songs because that's literally the only thing that matters. Because if you can't do that, then you're you can't get past a certain point. Yep. There's a threshold where the coolness will wear off, and if you can't write good songs, then uh, people will just be like, "Well, I don't really care for that anymore." Yeah. Um, yeah. Wonderfully put. I'm, I'm going to go on to this question. Kind of it it uh, calls back to a, one of another question we had. <laughs> Besides the Telecaster. What's your favorite style of guitar? This isn't a funny one. We'll get a funny one after this. Um, what's your favorite good style of guitar? This is <sighs> this is for the gearheads out there. This yeah, this, this is the one. This is the one. I I because mine's Telecaster. You know me. Uh, so check it out. Prop. I probably prefer mostly. I love a Strat, but Eric I Hunter. wish so badly that I could say. SG because I love SG so much. I think they look so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've just never like agreed with me. Like I feel like I anytime I play one, I'm like it's not what I want. Cause you got that green one. I haven't seen that one in a minute. It is pretty cool, but it doesn't it does that it doesn't I, stay in tune that well. To me, I thought that was going to be the Web Wing LP3 guitar, and then maybe I'll bring it on tour. You can't beat the Red Rocket, you know? No, you absolutely not. You the can't. Red Rocket's the be- the the uh, that's the best one I got. That one's nice. Um, SG, I, I, dude, I like Paul. I like. I mean, unless unless Fender's listening, Strat, Strat. We'll, we'll agree on Strat. But if I can pick any guitar, dude, I, I I just got a Les Paul. It's sick, man. I always wanted, oh, it, man. It's man. cool. I love a Les. They Paul. sound great. And I've and I can fuck with a Les Paul. And they, I've yeah. I played Les Pauls for a long time. 
oh, you dude, had for that some reason, one. SG is just like, don't, I think they feel awesome and everything, and mm. I they just don't, it just doesn't, um, doesn't mesh with me, dude. You gotta, it's it's like a wand, dude. Speaking of which, a wand, I went to a orchestra last night, um, and like the, the, the conductor has like a wand. Was it, um, what's that guy that, uh, Bradley Cooper, was he, uh. Yeah, it was Bradley Cooper. Yeah, it was him. Yeah, it was Bradley Cooper. He was he was doing Silver Linings too. Uh, no, it was I did. It was, we saw him in Philly. It, it was it was cool. Uh, but like halfway through it, I was kind of like, "All right, I'm ready to I'm ready to bounce." What did they do the Nightmare Before Christmas? Soundtrack? I wish it was some. It was something I've never heard of before. I was like, "Oh, we're gonna listen to." It's either got to be the Fair Fair Elise. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. That. And then they get that. I got I got some some lady playing like some crazy. What, did they just do like guitar. a medley of songs? Uh it was it was some famous composer, but and it was cool. It sounded great. Um but at a certain point I was kinda like I'm ready to leave. Where's the singing? Where, is anyone gonna sing? Dude, gonna you know talk to me? Isn't it crazy how unsafe feeling the seating is at those places? Yes, dude. That's like I sat down and it wasn't like these chairs. It was like you're like pressed up, and we were up in the balcony, right? Where was it at the Met? Or it the, was um, at the Kimmel um, Center. The Kimmel Center, yeah, yeah, the Jimmy Kimmel Center. That's um, yeah, I've been to that exact place, and mm-hmm. I just thought, like, dude, the balconies are. If I was like a little old lady, I wouldn't dare go near the. And edge. there was mad old ladies there, dude. They exactly. Put the, they put I just the thought, like, on the I back. can't believe that. How many old ladies <laughs> fall off the fucking thing? It's at so least once easy a year. to fall off. I was like <laughs> near the edge, like, dude, this is Not stressing good. me out. <laughs> yeah. So, I went to there. It was great, good time. But um, would I go back? Maybe I actually would go back uh, Thursday though. It got a little sleepy around nine o'clock, especially with a show that's not no energy. Um, yeah, nobody's but, um nobody's stage diving or anything. Yeah, there's no stage diving, no telecasters to be seen. We're Les Pauls. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here in Ooh, the questions. I got one after you got one. All right, you yeah. can go. Ahead. Oh, uh, this. Well, we, we might get there. Opinions on Celsius energy energy drink. I fucking love it, dude. I love them. I love. Once it. I found out they're not bad for you, I because I, I didn't understand what they were. I thought they mm. were um like um, hard seltzers or something. Me too. I, I was when like, I saw everyone. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I saw Soulblind drinking. I was like, bro, you guys got to chill. <laughs> yeah, th- and I asked them about it, and they're the ones that kind of put us onto it. And I, was, I got one, and I was like, I actually really like these. And it makes you skinny too. Allegedly, allegedly says it makes you skinny. And they're on sale everywhere at all times. It seems so. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. It was really nice. So yeah, we're big, um, big Celsius guys. We're big Celsius guys. I, I'd, I'd get a Celsius tattoo on my forehead if they want to, uh, chip into the podcast. Uh, let's um, see. there's a bunch here. I'm trying to find some something good, you know, dude. I can't tell if people are trolling us with these, mm-hmm. with some of these, or if they're actually like trying to be funny. And uh, oh, dude, this is a great question, but by one of our favorite they them listeners, Renee. Mm. Um, just wondering who are some of your favorite not cringe queer people and why? Not cringe queer people. Hmm. Makes you think. We're you're really racking our brain here, <laughs> um, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Most of them. It's the it's the it's the ones that have a, too much to say on. It's the ones that you can tell live on the internet that are cringe, and that goes for every person, not just queer people, obviously. But like, dude, there's motherfuckers that I like that you can tell they're just like on the internet too much. Yeah. And hey, man, most of us have been there, myself included. There have been times where I thought. I, it didn't even occur to me. Like, I'm on the internet way too much. It's like, you get a... But, dude, everybody's got to get off the internet a little bit. Or at the very least, look at it. When every time you look at it, you need to at least have in the back of your mind, like, this is doing nothing good for me. When spiritual. And I need to take everything these fuckers say with a grain of salt because everyone on there is alone in their bedroom and nobody in real life actually agrees with them other than the other weirdos that are alone in their bedroom. Mm-hmm. With no actual like people they care about that they hang out with in real life, and they're just screaming opinions, and then the other weirdos are like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm lonely and and <laughs> unsatisfied with my life. I I agree with that. Send pics. Yeah, what? Uh, it's funny that 
there's way more of those people in the world than there is like normal people in the world. There aren't though. There's just way more of those people on the internet, and that's what you see. Because like, yeah, that's true. You can't interact with that Facts. many people in your daily life. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's just because yo, if you worked at like I don't know fucking Journeys at the mall or something. I and you're just selling Doc Martens and Vans and fucking Converse. Hmm. The amount, the people that would come in there would probably just be like, the conversation. Sh- sure, you get some shitty people once in a while, like hmm. any place. But dude, you would probably just be exposed. You would probably just be like, oh yeah, like I have a pleasant interaction with enough people. Mm-hmm. Journeys might be a bad example. Journeys. But I'm just saying, like, you probably, maybe not these days, dude. I yeah. guess not a ton of people are hitting Journeys, but. <clears throat> dude, Journeys is where I used to go to get Vans, right? Now it's just like, I'll just go on the internet. I know my size. Yeah. Like, who's going to get, who's who's hitting up Journeys these days? Uh, How long until stores are totally gone? Uh, I don't and know. will we let homeless people live in them? <laughs> not if, uh, like, this, the white people in charge <laughs> I'm saying it. They definitely won't, but yeah, you, all... you know that's what people will suggest. Well, what are you going to do with the buildings? Just let homeless people, um, at least they can be sheltered. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Also, let's ha- let's have some skaters fuck it up in there, too. Yeah. Dude, it'd be sick. I mean, th- you're essentially telling rich people whose only incentive in life, to... for the most part, is to make more money. Mm-hmm. That they should forfeit their investment, which is like their most precious thing in their life. Like all they think about is investments. Mm. You're asking to give up precious money that they've invested in a property or a business or something and just say, I don't want it. Homeless <laughs> people can can make their shell their make their home out of it. They listen, I'm not saying that they are right or wrong in saying in saying that they won't do that, but I will say that it is a crazy ask. Mm. It is crazy to be upset with somebody that would be like, "Why would I do that?" Yeah. Uh, and I'm a broke motherfucker. Well, this is my next question: What will your first per- uh, extravagant purchase be when the podcast blows up? Um. Well. I don't know if the podcast will blow up, dude. Well, this is hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's blown up as much as it as it is, and I am grateful for everyone that listens. It's cool to have a uh, or uh, yeah. I was thinking today listeners. in the shower. I took a shower today. Nice, busy dude. Uh, uh, yeah, oh no! Freaking sweet. Yes. yes, sir. And I was thinking uh, in that shower. I thought, you know what? The podcast has been like has surprisingly stayed stagnant, which is a bad thing. Don't get me yeah. wrong. In our uh, in our in recent months, because we've kind of just gone lackluster with it. Yeah, because our attentions have been elsewhere. But uh, but I'm just like, you know what? For as plateaued as things have been, we had people hang in there for a while. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, enough. it has been kind of plateaued, but I think we can keep going. And like I said, man, th- this is the year of the guests, and guests are how you bring in the new uh, the new listeners, the new listeners, and um. Mailbag's kind of like a guest. You're the guest. <laughs> well, welcome, guests. Um, dude, we got. I can't wait to get uh, side tables. I feel like side tables would be really sick. Uh, then we can put our drinks there. I've got say, one side table here. But we're going to need more. We're going to need more side tables. So, uh, if yeah, you're, so join the Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash quit your bandwagon still can. Support the show. Support us getting uh, side tables. Uh you might see in the next episodes if we get enough, uh, the, a few more Patreon subscribers. That would be sick. Cause like this, I, I kind of like the having the, the pod thing here. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice. You can hit the buttons uh, until we get the producer. You know, until Corey takes over. He hasn't. We haven't trained him on this yet. Yeah, come on, Corey. Yeah, Corey, freaking, <laughs> freaking. Lord. How long have we been recording? How long? Is it? Uh, uh, oh, almost an hour. Almost an hour. What do you? What are you? What are you looking to go to here? An hour? Yeah, go an hour. I'll read some more of these. I'm thinking if we if we have some more left in the bank too, we can make, we can do a special little, you know, twenty minute thing on the Patreon. Wrap this up. True. You know, um, I got one here again. Not super funny, uh, and we don't need to dwell on it longer than this. But no question, just wanted to say thanks for coming to Canada. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Can't wait for a- April seventeenth. Uh, so yeah, you're welcome. Great show. That was cool. Um, 
Yeah, I might, I might move over to to the emails. All right. In the meet, while you do that, yeah. I'll answer this one. Worst Red Dead character and why? Um, I'll tell you, and you might not like the answer, um, or maybe you'll agree. Mm. Um, I, everyone's um, default answer or like immediate answer would probably be Micah. Micah is like the evil force mm. throughout the the evil influence throughout the the story. But dude, it's honestly um it's Dutch. Dutch the is leader ca- of the gang. He's dude, he's so annoying. And you're and supposed corny. to hate him. Like but dude, I I feel like the intention is that like throughout the game you're so supposed to like w- along with the characters, you're supposed to like kind of lose faith in him. Mm-hmm. Cuz they're all like on his side up until basically the end. Right. Which is crazy. Yeah. Cuz dude, he sucks so bad the whole time. So yeah, Dutch is the worst one. He sucks. His voice is annoying. He looks like a cornball. Um, just the way he talks is infuriating. Yo, honestly, Arthur should beat everyone up in the camp on day one. That'd be ill. You should, you should get an option to beat up everyone. Oh, dude. I've said this before. You should be allowed to at least... I'm not saying you should be allowed to shoot or kill the kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kids in San Denis, the street urchins. Oh, yeah. You should beat up. Be but able dude, to rough they them up. fuck with you. You should be allowed to slap them, I think. Quid pro quo. Did that's that a, matter? That's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's supposed to happen. Quid pro quo. You know, you know, one eye for an eye. You should be if you're fucking with me, I should be able to fuck with you. I just feel like um, they're referring to them as street urchins, and I can't slap them. Like you've already disrespected them. I what's the what's harm is going to be done if I'm not trying to kill them. My fake computer character slapped me. <laughs> what what would the game have to be rated like? Um, What's after or 17? Uh, mature, you know? That's It probably is, like, rated M for mature. I mean, you sh- you're shooting people yeah, in the head. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the game's already rated M, so, like, what? who cares? You should be able to go to the sky, you know? Yeah. Who cares? You should, if you're old enough. It is weird that when we grew up, it was so regulated to be 17. If You had to be at least uh, 13 or 17 to rent a game. Like, you'd have to show ID. Um but now, dude, you just download it online. There's l- essentially no proof you can give, you know? For what? For downloading, like, an, a mature game. Like, what no, I mean, You just need a credit card? Yeah. But, yo, that's, like, that for anything. You have to, like, when you go to, like... I mean, if you go to, like, Pornhub, it doesn't ask your age or <laughs> Yo, anything. it doesn't ask your age. Why? That is kind of crazy. you go to other ones, it, like, asks if you're 18 to proceed. But if you buy, like, I'll buy, like, um, my games on the internet. Mm. And it asks at the end to confirm that you're, confirm your age. And you just put your date of birth in and yeah. you just confirm and that's it. So, like, if I was 14, I could easily do that. Yeah, what database are they going from? Don't know. Is that what it is? They're, like, checking my... They can't. They, 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 I, I feel like it's just like... That's the thing, because it's just my first and last name. Yeah, it's literally just an honor system. Um, ooh, <laughs> side, sideborg, arms, or legs, if you had to choose one of them. Dude, check it out. I'm going legs, so I'm, I want to dunk, bro. I'm dunking That's with a good my reason. legs, bro. Leg, dude, honestly, you, it's a tough call. Check it out. Wacha. I'd be kicking, you know? Like, if someone comes at me, wacha, wacha, wacha. Be sick, dude. Yeah, but then you would look like the river dance guys where like their upper body doesn't move at all. <laughs> but their legs are wild now. Well, I'm thinking like, all right, you can still wear short sleeve shirts, right? You yeah. still got arms, so no one really knows you're wearing pants. They they'll know you right. got cyborg legs on their Cyborg legs might be the call, but dude, think of how cool it would be to get in a bar fight. To be like Jax. And you just punch a man through the wall. <sighs> be hard, dude. Be he'd freaking pro- hard. You'd probably kill him. You know what? Maybe. It might be too dangerous to have <laughs> they'd be, cyborg arms. Maybe weapons of uh, not mass destruction, but you definitely be killing people accidentally yeah. <laughs> like a Oops. couple times a year. You can like, can you pet a cat? You know, can you pet an animal? Um, till now, it's a good question. Yeah, yeah you might yeah, be petting yeah. things too hard. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Nobody, <laughs> no gal wants to feel a steel hand against their uh, no. against the, the their back. The le- like, how far do the legs come up? Does it come to your glutes? Are you getting better? Pushing, you know, it might that be, is you true. Might be Are we getting a sideboard fucking wiener in the deal, or is it just cuts off at the like the underwear shape? It's a great question. Is it like Ken? I I, I assume it's probably up to the hips. Like, hey, you- call in and, and uh, <laughs> elaborate on what, what you mean by this. 
All right, this setup's great for a call. We'll have to do another call in show. This is great for a call in show. We can kind of just boop, boop. That'd be that would be sick. We'll we'll do a call in show. Uh yeah, that, that was a good one. That was a good a thought provoking one right there. Um You got any? Uh no, if you got any. All right, let's see here. Huh. Favorite 90s sci-fi and comedy movies. I don't mm. fucking know, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess my favorite movie is E.T., and that counts as a sci-fi, but um, other than that, I like uh, Aliens. Of, well, that's not 90s, though. And no, neither is E.T. 90s, huh? Nin- I don't know. I well, really like... Um, sorry, what was the question? 90s, what was favorite 90s movie? 90s uh, sci-fi and comedy movies. I'm, assume, I'm assuming they're separate, but if we're talking both combined, I'm saying Galaxy Quest is one of the... Oh, wow, that's one great. Of the goatest, I love Galaxy Quest. One of the goaded uh, comedies, in my opinion, You got from the 90s. Snape? Dude. You got fucking Tim Allen? Come on, man. You got Monk on there? All-star oh, yeah. cast. Tony dude, I love Tony Shalhoub. Shalhoub. Dude. dude, I'm a Shalhoub head. <laughs> <laughs> That's bro. Um, 90s movie Alien. Um, Alien? Alien wasn't. Is that 90s? It was 80s. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, oh, I lo- the puppies, pups are here. Puppies. Hello, puppies. Hello, gang. You want to come up? Uh, we got we got guests. We got guests on cam. They can't speak. <laughs> they don't have a microphone. That's why. But oh. um, hi, puppies. How are you guys doing? Oh, dude. What? This uh, is great. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Leo. This is Leo, everybody. What a good boy. Jealous of your gray hairs. Yeah. Not even one. He got grays. He just comes that way. Wow. We, look at you go. Yeah, you got a, you got a haircut a yeah, few weeks ago. T- when does he? Oh, yeah. His hair is yeah. a little shorter, huh? Yeah. You got a haircut a few weeks ago. His birthday's 311. <gasps> Whoa. You know what color his energy is, everybody. Dude, I remember my cousin in, like, I don't know what year it came out, but, like, I remember my cousin showing me, uh, my cousin Vince, who is now, like, a famed uh, chef in New York. Oh, shit. He showed me a Come Original by 311, Mm. and uh, he was like, this is, like, the best song I've ever heard. Life-changing. And I remember thinking, like, I'm not there yet. (laughs) About... That song the about Amber? that song. I, I'm it's no good. come original. Oh, 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 okay. Amber wasn't until like a decade later, I think. Yeah, uh, they got some hits, man. It makes oh, sense. Dude. They're as big as they are. They were like a skate reggae band for, in, in the beginning. They're cool, man. So I, I thought that's a cool concept. They're cool like, thing. let's do bad brains, but in the other direction, <laughs> and <laughs> and be white. I guess I mean, they're more popular than bad brains. Yes, but not as not culturally. Not as. Uh, that's weird. I was going to say maybe not as culturally significant, but yeah. I would guess probably more people know who 311 is than mm. Bad Brains. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I feel like they had a little more major... Like, I might be able to play a... I might be able to play Amber for my grandma, and she might be like, I've heard this song before. <laughs> she just starts like... <laughs> yeah, but if I showed her Bad Brains, she'd be like, I've never heard anything like this in my life. Mm. Or she would do a backflip off the counter, and she would <laughs> know every word to sailing on. <laughs> <laughs> Starts losing her mind. I haven't heard this in ages. Uh, damn! I wish I could. I wish I could remember this uh, question or the answer to this question. What was the favorite? Uh, what was the first R-rated movie you guys saw in theaters? I I don't remember, but I will. I do remember the first time I saw um, R-rated movie with my parents, and Whoa. tit was in there. A tit. A tit. It was. It was. Um, it was Ghost uh, Ship. I think the, that's the name of the movie. Ghost. Okay, Ship. I remember that movie. And we were watching it. One of the best um, opening scenes ever. Yeah. In and horror movie, IMO. Not a great movie, but not a good great movie. opening scene. But there's tit in it, and dude, that having to see tit with your parents at a young age. It's, it's a tough. weird one, man. It's, it's a tough, weird. Dude. It's a weird one. Dude, why can't I see what this fucking movie was rated? Because you kind of want to like look away, but then you're also kind of like, oh, I kind of want to see a tit, especially growing up when we did. Because tits, dude, tits weren't as easy as they are now, man. Now you just go on fucking Instagram. Oh, dude. Now you can ins- do anything you want. Yeah, dude, I can't fucking figure out. Oh wait, analysis. Ooh, you're gonna, so you're basically, gonna, what I'm trying to figure out uh, is, I suspect that maybe the Spawn movie was the first R-rated movie I saw in theaters, uh, but I can't find anything that confirms that it was. 
I remember being fucked up enough that yeah. it, I would think it would be rated R, but mm. I can't find anything that confirms that. It, Isn't I feel that like, weird? I feel it like just... Spawn is R. It's not on the Wikipedia. Uh, it might be on the Wikipedia. It probably is. You're right. Mm. I'm just looking at the fucking. Um, dude, <laughs> it's, it's like G. <laughs> It literally doesn't have the fucking rating on here. What's going on? It's messed up. Um, whatever. I but just, Spawn may have been the first rated R movie you've seen. You maybe saw if theaters. I could ever fucking confirm <laughs> that. It's so weird. Is Spawn rated R? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're pathetic. Oh uh, shit, man. I, I want to get to the the emails ones, but um, I think we might be out of time. For this week, what do you say about this? What do you say we we end the app here? We plug in the space heater. We do a little special one on the on the Patreons for the for our fellow patrons. That sounds awesome to me. I like that idea. Um, I'm about to figure out what this movie was rated. Ooh. Um, one day I'll get a drum roll on here. Parents Guide, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Rated PG-13 for, <laughs> for thematic elements involving the demonic underworld, violence, intense f- fantasy action, and c- crude humor. Hmm. That's, um... In today's uh, libtard society, that'd be rated R. I guess I don't know what the first R-rated movie I saw in theaters was. Hmm. Maybe still haven't seen one. I don't. I don't remember the first R-rated movie I saw. Honestly, I I probably was by myself. I was probably. What was Titanic rated? Probably PG. That was rated PG thirteen. Because there's only a tit in it for like yeah. a sec. I think it was PG thirteen. Yeah. Then maybe no, Titanic. There's no way that was rated R and a global success. I don't know. I don't know what movie. Titanic movie rated R. PG-13? Yeah, it's PG-13. You can show a little tin on PG-13. Guys, I don't know. I, c- I couldn't tell you. I'm, Stumped. I'm up there in age, and that was a really long time ago. I would have <laughs> s- had to concern myself with uh, not being allowed to see. Yeah, every movie's the same rating to me. Or the rating is, is it good or bad? I'm like, oh, it's good? Okay, I'll watch it. Oh, dude. I'm like, a- Saltburn. I might watch our- Saltburn. I might not. <laughs> it's kind of like... um. I didn't like it. Mm. It sucks. <laughs> I might not watch it. The, it sucks. The rating is it sucks. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for uh, mailbagging us questions. This was fun. I kind of want to do it again. We're going to keep it going on the Patreon. So uh, if you like this, head over to the patreon.com. So quit your band while you still can. Support the show. Uh, support us. Support us getting drink tables. And we'll read the rest of the mailbag questions. Um, yeah. yeah. Support us. Please. Bye. All right, bye.